The spread of COVID-19 in Victoria County has caused a strain on medical staff at post acute medical north, causing the hospital to bring in state nurses to help patients with COVID-19. We received five of those nurses. Yes, and a couple of our other hospitals were received, you know, anywhere between eight and nine, and some of them did have military prior um, or current like reserve. Um, but the one in Victoria is is just strictly state funded. Emily Gard says Post Acute Medical North is all about providing top care to their patients. Getting in nurses from out of state has helped alleviate some of the strain on local nurses. So when we uh, we actually reached out um, probably I think about two or three weeks ago just to kind of put our name out there that this is something that we would like to do because of the influx in the Victoria market. On June 12th, Victoria County had a total of 200 confirmed cases of COVID-19. Now, a month later, on July 12th, the total number of COVID-19 cases sits at more than 1,700 confirmed cases. From the community standpoint, um, we've we've always kind of uh, been the designated COVID hospital, especially at Victoria North. So we're able to take a, a higher amount of COVID, more higher acuity patients um, with the extra help that we have. Guard says the additional state nurses will really help as the number of COVID-19 cases continue to rise in Victoria County. In Victoria, I'm LaShonda McEwen for your hometown news.